Today we're going to open up iPhoto and show you all the new features that it has in iOS 7, next on iPad 365. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad a play. You want to get a hold of me? Simple as that. Twitter handle is iPad365. Of course, the show is show at iPad-365.com. You can go to iPad-365.com or iPad365.us. That's kind of a nice uh, URL. Also have iPad365.biz and .mobi and .info. Everything but iPad365.com because there's a squatter on there. So, Anyway, today we're going to take a look at iPhotos because it got a big update with iOS 7. And I wanted to show you some of the cool features here because there's a lot of cool features, including that iCloud feature, being able to actually bring it over not only for you to view or for other people to view. So basically I have my iCloud. I actually put together a, a, a quick list of pictures that I wanted to put together for an iCloud. This is our action from CES 2013. I'm going to put it into a slideshow so other people can see it. And yeah, it doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC, you can actually watch it. I went from my my list of pictures here and I created a slideshow. I've got my all my photos here. Um, I went to uh, January of 2013 and I selected them uh, as part of an album. So I went back to the photos and I said, I'm going to create a new project, a slideshow, in which I chose the photos and I've got my slideshow right here, all the photos. Now let's say, uh, let's say I don't want to have these in this order. I want to move things around. I can take like this photo right here and hold it down as you can see. It moves around and it moves just like with any other iPad, moving an iPad app on the screen. You can move it to wherever you want to. So I want to take this picture, I want to move it up here. This is a stern pinball. I'm going to move it over here and put it into the into the, the, the list of all the photos here. Now I, I can watch it by hit and play here and of course it's going to show me the uh, play. I can swipe really quick uh, just to see how the pictures orientate. It looks pretty good so far. So I'm going to go back here. Now I'm going to change the way that it looks and I'm going to hit this uh, triple dot on the top right hand screen, uh, side of the screen. I can choose classic look, I can choose a dateline look. Let's choose dateline really quick and go back. Now if I hit play, you're going to see a date line and a timeline to the slideshow, January of 2013. We're going to start with 9 a.m. That was when I was on a plane. I was flying there on January, I believe, 2nd, 9 a.m. On the 7th, or I'm sorry, the 6th. On the 7th, uh, we started setting up the booth. There's Todd and Andy. There's our booth for CES. And uh, on the 13th of January, we, we went in and, and took a look. I saw, I went to, we saw this and uh, we've got earthquake audio with their, with their customized car and tablet and so on and so forth. So you actually get a nice slideshow here. So uh, that's one way to do it. Um, go back to here. We can choose Ken Burns flip up magazine portfolio. Let's just go back to classic um, and go from there. So we'll hit that and then we'll hit play. Now it'll just be a classic, uh, classic slide through uh, picture to picture to picture. Great stuff. I've got it all set and now it's time to get it out there. And that's what we're gonna do next, is I'm gonna show you how to throw it up on iCloud. Okay, so now we've got all the pictures all organized. We put them in our order. We decided, I decided what I wanted to, uh, the timeline I wanted to do. What I wanna do is I'm gonna share it. I, uh, I'm gonna hit the share button. I can share it to iTunes. I can beam it to another computer. I can airdrop it and I can iCloud it. Now, if you're gonna iTunes it, it's gonna say you wanna export as an HTML, you wanna export photos only. Um, so you're gonna to have to choose between one or the other. However, it, it, it's kinda of sad that it can't create it into a video and then send the video. But uh, by doing that, I can actually move things around and then they can watch vi uh, the pictures as it goes. So I'm just gonna say iCloud. I wanna publish it to iCloud and I wanna add it to my home page so it's easy to see in Safari. I'm going to hit publish changes and it's going to go and it's going to upload that to iCloud. I might be running out of iCloud space so I got, I got an exclamation point on there. We'll see if, uh, if I have to worry about my uh, space there. But nope, looks good. Alright, so once I got it up on iCloud I can actually share it. And So what I would do is then I'd email it to a friend and say, hey, click on the My Show link and then turn around and actually see it from there. Well, we'll do this from here. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go into my email where I'm going to go straight to my Gmail here 
and I'm gonna see my slideshow. I'm gonna choose that, see my slideshow. It's gonna open up into Safari. And of course, this is the slideshow right here. And as you can see, I can hit the play button. It can go from picture to picture to picture. I don't have to worry about it. Just watch the slideshow as it goes and see how, how it looks and, and what we're expecting for CES 2014 action, which is coming up very, very soon. So. That is iPhotos. There's a lot more you can do there. Uh, there's editing uh, capability into iPhoto. You can do multi-touch editing. You can create brushes. So I can bring this uh, this photo in. I can say edit, and I can uh, I can do some magic editing right there. Auto enhance to to enhance this dragon. I can do some drawing on top of it. I can change the exposure, just like this. As you can see, I can put in brushes and, and, uh, and reduce some red eye or, or lighten it up or whatever. And then when I'm done, I can even add a caption, add some tags. So it's easy, easier for me to search through when I do sync it with all my other devices to get all the pictures in one place. All right, that is iPhoto for iOS. It is $4.99 in the App Store. You can get it now. So what do you think of iPhoto? Have you downloaded it yet? It has a lot more than the old version of iPhone, and of course that iCloud option is awesome. I said it before, Apple has given us five gigabytes of iCloud storage, which is great. But when you have multiple devices like an iPad, an iPhone, and a Mac, five gigabytes pretty much uh, gets eaten up really quick. I'm hoping that Apple will look at that and say, hey, you know, you paid for an iPad, you paid for a Mac, he paid for a device, let's give him five gigabytes per device, or maybe just 20 gigabytes, so you have space to go from there. So, what apps do you use the most? Do you use uh, iPhoto? Do you use Numbers? Do you use Keynote? Let me know. You can Twitter me over at iPad365. Of course, the email is show at iPad-365.com. One quick note, we are part of the podcast awards and, and uh, we're best video and I thank the people for nominating me uh, for best video. Now it's time to go vote. Go over to podcastawards.com, podcastawards.com, go to the best video. There's two iPad shows, myself and of course Twit's iPad Today, which is a great show as, as well. But make sure that you choose iPad 365 and, uh, and keep our fingers crossed. Of course the awards go out in January. So we'll see what happens there. But thanks for everybody that nominated me. That's this episode of iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers. You guys have some fun. And until next time, geek out.